Hello and welcome back to this learning video. We have started with the topic of lines of regressions and we are continuing the topic with examples and of course we are taking a different varieties of examples. what question says so this question says if theta is the angle between two lines of regressions then show that tan theta is this where this r sigma x sigma y have their usual meaning and also second part is there okay we'll think uh, we'll talk about this later on so before we approach to this uh, problem let us recollect the things that we have learned in the lower classes suppose you have equation that y is equal to m1x plus c and another equation y is equal to m2x plus d okay suppose these are two equation of straight line okay and if theta is the angle between these two lines okay if theta is the angle between these two lines then it is given by what is it? M2 minus M1 upon 1 plus M1, M2. Right? This is the formula. Where what is this M1 and M2? This M1 is nothing but the slope of this line and M2 is nothing but the slope of this line. So we are going to make use of this formula to prove this result. Okay? So how to start with? So theta is the angle between two lines of regression. So first of all we have to take two lines of regressions. Okay. So we will start it like let the two lines of regression two lines of regressions are y minus y bar is equal to r sigma y by sigma x into x minus x bar. This is the first and let me write down the second one and x minus x bar is equal to, say so this is the first one, r sigma x upon sigma y into y minus y bar. But to find out the angle between these two lines, we must have lines like this, y is equal to something and y is equal to something. Okay, so what I am going to do, I am going to rewrite this equation in terms of y. Just rearrange the terms. So what it should be? That is, that is, y minus y bar is equal to is equal to sigma y upon r sigma x into x minus x bar. Say this is to be equation number 2. Simple. Now these equation 1 and 2 are the two lines of regression and we are going to find out the angle between these two lines. So let me write here one sentence. If theta is the angle between the two lines of the, the angle between the two lines of a regression one and two then then what this then tan theta is equal to M2 minus M1 upon 1 plus M1 into M2. Okay. Now what is M1, M2? So my M1 is this. This is my M1 and this is my M2. Okay. So these are M1, M2. So substitute these values of M1 and M2 is equal to what is m2 sigma y upon r sigma x 
minus what is m1 plus r sigma y upon sigma x all divided by 1 plus this m1 r sigma y by sigma x into sigma y upon r sigma x okay is it okay up to this yeah now we can just uh, cancel out these terms and we can write as here we can see sigma y by sigma x is common so we can take it outside so this is sigma y by sigma x into what is remaining 1 by r minus r all divided by what is this this is 1 plus sigma y square upon sigma x square okay now take the lcm of it so this is equal to when you take the lcm over here so it will be getting sigma y by sigma x into 1 minus r square upon r okay and I am taking the LCM of this divided by sigma x square plus sigma y square divided by sigma x square. Okay, now this can be written as sigma y by sigma x into 1 minus r square upon r into this can be written as divide it can convert into multiplication and reverse this term sigma x square upon sigma x square plus sigma y square so this sigma x get cancelled with this okay and we remain with 1 minus r square upon r into sigma x sigma y upon sigma x square plus sigma y square okay and that is what we wanted to prove very simple so we got this result now we have the second part so first part is over hence first part now concentrate on the second part this is very interesting Explain the significance of explain the significance when r equal to 0 and when r is equal to plus minus 1. So let's see, we'll make use of this to see the significance of this. So I'm removing this now. So let us see the first one. When r is equal to 0. So when r is equal to 0, what it should be? 1 minus 0 upon 0. So 0 means infinity, right? When r is equal to 0, then 10 theta is tending towards infinity, right? When r is equal to 0, 10 theta tending towards infinity, that is theta is equal to pi by 2 okay so what we can say when r is equal to 0 theta equal to pi by 2 meaning thereby the two lines of regressions cut each other at right angle okay so here you can write that is the two regression lines cut each other at right angle okay and that is what we have written as a remark in the introductory lecture okay so this is for r equal to 0 now let's move on to this when r is equal to plus minus 1 when r is equal to plus minus 1 so when i put r is equal to plus minus 1 so this is 1 minus 1 0 so 0 into anything 0 so 
what I can say, tan theta tending to 0, that is theta is equal to 0 or pi. This means, this means, when r is equal to plus minus 1, theta equal to 0 or pi. It means the two lines of regression coincides with each other. Okay? That is what we can signify. What This is what the value of r equal to plus minus 1 signifies. So, theta equal to 0, pi. This means the lines of regressions coincides coincides with each other okay so this completes the second part so i hope the problem that we have taken here is clear to you if you have any doubt feel free to contact Thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.